here we are then, in the actual shortest chapter of the game. Now, year four, we've got about 33 minutes left, about a half hour left of gameplay. So first things first, as we start, we're going to head down the steps before we go up. And we're going to interact with the coffin on the ground. Again, this is just me saving the games because for some reason, the further in the game I get, the more paranoid I get. I don't know why, it's just, it's just a thing. But here is the original Danny DeVito, Bruno Martinez, the guy from... Yes, yes we were. From the cafe at the very beginning of the game, if you remember, the little angry guy. He decided to he decided to walk off. I was in a coffin for the last four years. But we need to get here uh, because we need an achievement. This is a missable achievement for basically for seeing Bruno on his way. He gives us a little mug, which, to, I mean, to be fair, if you're reading the same mug for four years in a small box, you're going to be pissed off in you, let's be honest. You've basically had to piss and poop yourself. Then again, do skeletons actually piss and poop themselves? I suppose they've got nothing to hold on to it. <laughs> anyway, so the rest of our gang has been basically, uh, not kidnapped, but just been led aside for a minute. So we've got a few things to do. We're going to come up to three quickfire achievements as well, all missable. So uh, go ahead and go inside. Try and walk straight if you can, because for some reason this generally took me around 20 to 30 seconds to get in. All you're doing is walking straight through a door, and somehow I managed to mess this bit up. <laughs> Isn't I just fantastic? But it is through the door that you've got to go. Ah, there we go, look. So we get there eventually. And if you just walk on forward a little bit, hey, you'll see Chapito, our little friend. So go ahead, have a little chat with him. Give me no ticket, so no... So what are you pacing around here? Trying to unwind a little bit. Oh, gotta even out my life in this well, That ought to do. Goodbye, Chapito. Happy trails, Captain. And thanks for setting me straight. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. And if you're not happy with seeing that, then you have no heart. Just plain and simple. You got no heart. So we're happy to see Chapito on his way here. Go ahead and interact with the long tunnel. We actually need to interact with it, pressing the A button until this dialogue comes up with Di um with Manny. That's gonna get us the walk out of this world achievement. So there's three achievements in within basically around two minutes. So you can't beat it. There's nothing else to do here, so just walk on back outside. What happened to that train? Your destiny cannot be purchased. I don't understand. Given a ticket, a soul may... They didn't sell their tickets. Bring the tickets. That is all. The tickets are in El Maro. How can I get there? These rails are already... Well, thanks for the help. So after you speak to this thing right here, all we need to do is just... Um, Go sort of to where Matt, the man is left. Try walking down, and we're going to get a note from a little surprised person. It's not a good note, though. It's more of a, huh, I've seen your penis and it's tiny, that kind of note. It really makes you uh, crap yourself. The blackmail kind, you know? I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Le Mans. Híjole. I know what you're up to. You so now we can finally head down the stairs. And we're not actually going down the stairs this time. So just keep walking forward a little bit. And then to the right, just a touch. Sort of where I am. It's a bit tricky to find out where we are. But here we are with Glottis. Who's looking a bit ill and half dead. Now that is some good tequila and some good LSD, baby. That has messed him up. Anyway, definitely worth making a save here. Because we need to speak to the mechanics. 
and it's hard to tell where Manny is looking sometimes. So make a save right here. Basically, we need to get, again, a certain amount of dialogue, but if you accidentally look at Glottis, you uh, progress the story and you can't speak to the mechanics. That's why you have to load it out. So speak to the mechanics, then say, who are you guys? Obviously, make sure the man is looking down, of course, before you say that. And then that is what the achievement will be. So then you can just smash out the rest of the dialogue. So as long as you look at the mechanics, say, who are you? So large is what will pop the achievement. Again, if you actually don't end up saving, you can auto-save literally just a couple of... Uh, about a minute before when we're talking with the thing on the train station door. So it's not too far away either. So let us get our white ass out of here. So, go into this little kitchen down the stairs from where Glottis is. Open the drawer. Uh, we're going to be picking up a rag. Uh, we actually take out a mug. So, we're going to put that mug on the coffee stand. Crusty, huh, crusty. Don't know why. Crusty is just a funny word. Uh, and that is a toaster that we're going to be messing around with. So, go ahead and grab a uh, jizz rag. A regular rag. <laughs> Sorry, I almost messed up there. But grab a rag, come outside, and on this oil barrel on the right-hand side, there's um, a bit of liquid we can dab our crusty rag into. Nah, <laughs> you know where I'm going with that. <laughs> anyway, use your crusty jizz rag, uh, stick it in the toaster, and then that is basically this part of the section done. So Glottis is awake because he can smell the uh, crustiness. Actually, no, that's not it. But if you watch the cutscene, you'll know why Glottis uh, appears. But obviously, like I said, I'm going to skip the cutscene. So, yeah. What? Something that powerful. A rocket. rocket. If only we had more. Well, I could score you a couple of trucks. We shoot you now like an arrow into the wind. May you pierce the heart of the wind itself and drink the blood of flight. Speed is the food of the great Glottis. Speed bring you life. Come back to us someday. So this is what, uh, this is what wakes Glottis up. Speedy, speedy car. And when we skip the cutscene, we're going to end up back in Rubakava. That's where the car is. That's what we need. So we've got a few things to do. So go behind and go across the bridge to the left of where Glottis and Meche is. With this area, we've got three different paths to go. Go down the right path, and we're going to have a little conversation with bloody Velasco. He's still doing the same thing two years later. Man, he must be bird. But I tell you what, he's a seaman who likes other seamen, so glug glug. Rusty Bucket, where is she? Oh, well, we traded her in Puerto Tar, does it? I'm out of this stinking mob, but thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Where does it butter? Here I go. Mob down. So Velasco goes off and makes sure to pick up his, uh, the, the little item that Velasco was working on. The sort of ship in a bottle type thing. And uh, obviously just pop that straight up inside yourself. You got a lot of items in you. Manny, you still haven't gone to the doctors about it. No wonder you're in a bit of pain. Anyway, from here, we're going to go to the left side now. And basically, where we're going is straight. Remember, this is where the bees used to work. Uh, now it's a ghost town. Sorry, little Call of Duty uh, <laughs> Mon Warfare reference. And then just enter the lighthouse here, and we're going to get a missable achievement called O Lola. Uh, you'll automatically come up here as long as you enter it. And then when it unlocks, sort of, uh, just head back down. And our next location then is going back into the underground club where Olivia was, if you remember. So as long as you can get past the lamppost and somehow don't get stuck. Uh, the Blue Casket, which is a <laughs> brilliant name for a club in the 8th Underworld. Obviously, it's empty because everyone's disappeared for some reason, but head straight into the back of the kitchen. And with this wine cooler tap goddamn thing, we need to get out what we picked up from 
Levago earlier, or Virago, I've already forgotten the sailor's name. The sort of ship in a bottle type thing, interact with it, and that'll make it blue and beautiful. And basically what we're going to do is, we're going to be quite dodgy and get um, uh, Glodis' problem reinvented by making him get off his nut again. Sorry, taking advantage of an alcoholic here. And if Olivia's still here, surely that's got to be something dodgy going on, huh? Door open just a little bit. Uh, you And she wants to come along with... Honey, you can sug me. Right? Right, you can sug off. Anyway, so we're done with this bit. Now we're going to be going back to where Glorys and Mitchie is. Which, of course, here is just straight on. Or straight down. And then we're going to give that blue liquid... What we got from Velasco, Velasco, uh, where is it, this uh, little ship in a bottle, yeah, so go ahead, give that little bottle to Glottis, and just enjoy this, this makes me laugh, this next bit of dialogue from Glottis. Yes siree, not bad <laughs> Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's kitchen. Lumbago lemonade! Manny, aren't we in a hurry? Don't worry. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Tell me where you got that. Anyway, we're going to speak to Glottis. So go ahead and speak to him. Just to push him over the edge. We've just taken advantage of an obvious recovering drunk. Um, so now we're just going to make him spew all inside, which is exactly what we need. Lambego Lemonade! Hilarious. Top voice acting th th generally throughout the entirety of the game. Awesome. But we just made Glottis um, get drunk and spew up. I suppose. So we are, we are a good friend, honest. Uh, but we're not quite done with it yet. Uh, we've still got just one or two things left to do before we can leave. Make it gel. Hey, I made it. Looks better. Feels better. It's not gelling. It can't gel now. It got all nice and warm in my belly. So all we're going to be doing then is heading to the submarine. So go back on yourself, follow the train tracks, which you remember where we got Naranga all messed up earlier on. By the way, the squelching of the footsteps on the sick genuinely was quite spewalicious, to be honest. So, well done on the uh, noise making <laughs> on there. So we're just actually on the steel right now, so if you have a look, just on the right hand side, there's going to be a cupboard that we can open. I'm pretty sure the tattooist guy doesn't wake up, so we can just steal the jellified liquid, and we can head back to Glottis and Meche. Is my Mexican accent good, or do I suck? Yeah, yeah, it's probably the second one, isn't it? Yeah. There can't be too much in here. I'd better say there can't be too much in here. I'd better say there can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. So here we are then. Wap open your inventory. As soon as we're inside, feel the squelching is sick all over you. Mmm, delicious. Get the small bottle out, use it on the dominoes, the sort of floor, and that will ice it over, thus allowing us to get the car. But do not head round the back and start the car up. As soon as Manny starts looking up at the car, then interact with it. This is a missable achievement. So walk slowly. As soon as Manny looks up, then interact with it using the A button. The X button. Sorry, either one of the two. Yeah, it's the X button for this one, sorry. <laughs> the blow wagon. Very good, very good. That unlocks the that's not funny achievement. So remember to do that before you head round the back and interact with the dynamite. Looks like Hector's taken over the whole town. He hasn't had much resistance. 
Right then, so I'm going to skip the cutscene. There we go. First thing we're going to do, as when we are back, um, just s s speak with the radio. Talk <laughs> talking to the radio, that's going to get us another missable achievement there. But welcome back. Viva la revolution. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> make sure to grab that first. A few things have happened in that cutscene. Have a look at the sprouted body on the floor and make sure to pick up uh, the guy's right arm, which for some reason wasn't sprouted. And we're just going to be popping that. We're going to be popping the guy's hand right up inside ourselves. Have a look in the bin, and then you can also wrap it around the hand and stick that up yourself as well. Again, a lot of items going inside Manny. It's been non stop. And then go ahead, speak to Meche, and then Meche's going to nip off. No towers direct. All right, meet me there. Volunteers quickly for danger. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause. So we're going to be having a look at the CCTV monitors now. Sadly, there's nothing of any interest. I mean, I suppose it is for the mission, but there's nothing good. Nothing else good on TV. Uh, the florist. I mean, that's pretty good. A botanical weapons expert slash a florist. Hey, that's why the flowers... That's why the dead bodies would be looking so goddamn good. Anyway... So what we can do now is rip out a letter. So uh, go and get that out of yourself. So I know what you've been up to, blah, blah, blah. And we'll give it to the bird on the windowsill right there. <laughs> this is a note. And then for the next one, get out the picture. Don't, <laughs> don't interact with the bird because he will bite you. Um, but judging by that crunch, got a hell of a bite on him for a little Tweety Bloody Pie. So yeah, get the picture out. There it is. And then use it with the bird. Little cutscene's gonna happen again. La Revolución! And that's about it. So we're done in this little room for now. So we don't even get to speak to Ava, who we thought we were going to fall in love with at the beginning of the game. But see how it tricked you? Because now we're all like, eh, hey, met you, baby. So here we are then with Glottis. We're going to go up the ladder to the left of him. After, after we grab his little up and down button machine. Obviously, that's something that we can actually use now. So when we get it out, it's the A button to interact with it and use it. And that'll come in handy in just a little bit. So climb up the ladder. Uh, we're about around 25 minutes now from finishing the game, finally. We've got a few things to do here, there, and everywhere. But we are about 25 minutes away now from the end. So go straight up and then climb up this ladder. It's not like Johnny. No. I mean. Ah, don't worry about these guys. For some reason, they just don't even acknowledge your existence there. So, we're gonna play a little prank and a little. do a little tomfoolery. So, grab the coffee pot first. And just behind the guy on the left, kinda looks like a matchstick man or something. But you see Manny look up, he's looking actually up at a ladder. So, when you see him look up just behind that guy, we're gonna climb a ladder. Walk to your right just a little bit and then press the A button. That's going to pour some coffee on this guy. And even though it's coming from above, he's blaming the other guy who also looked up and can see us. But for some reason, uh, we get away with it. And that's what happens when you've got the biggest weenus in the 8th Underworld. Uh, I guess. I assume. Right, so anyway, th that's those little douchebags out of the way. And um, we're going to head right back down now. And we're going to go ahead and put the coffee pot back. We don't actually need it anymore. Uh, I bet coffee tastes like pure piss as well. Uh, in the Thunderworld. But we're going to head back up the ladder now. 
and then if you just turn directly behind you and walk forward a little bit, you go into this first person view, and then you can get out the right hand, the literal right hand that we picked out earlier on from the sprouting dead body, and then put it in this sort of bone crusher thing right here. And there we go then. So now we've got a bit of bone crushing. A snow <laughs> Sorry, it's not a it's not a bone crusher, it's a snowmaker, but it now serves to be a boner crusher. <gasps> Imagine sticking your boner in that. That would that's gonna pinch. Ah like a like great in a bloody sausage. Ah oh, ach, no. Anyway, go down to the open door to the right. A little bit of dialogue's gonna happen. We're gonna and we're gonna get a bit of Johnny Thunder makeup. We're gonna look sexy. I don't go too far, you never know what time is showtime around. So, now the aim of the game is to find that florist. So we're going to head back down from whence we came, on the left there. And just go all the way back down. Run, run, Gimpy, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the man with the gimp mask on. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that'll do. That was good. Head down the ladder now, and we're going to go to the right of where Glottis is, but... We're going to use, we are actually going to use that bone crusher machine right now, or the boner crusher, or the snowmaker, or whatever the hell you want to call it. So, first get out the button to uh, mess around with Glottis' car, and we're going to put him up. There we go, like so, and then get out your bone crusher, and then if you go to the uh, left side, the right side of the screen, left side of uh, Glottis' car, go ahead and use the bone crusher once, and then Manny's going to automatically do it a couple more times. And then we're going to head to the right. The flakes of bone are sprouting when they hit the pot baby tears. I saw Bowsley run down here. Where did he go? So basically from here we're just going to head down around the sort of middle post area looking thing and into the dark alley on the right. But what we're gonna do is, right next to that sort of dark tunnel, we are actually going to use El Bona Crusher. And again, Manny's gonna automatically do a couple of things. You just keep walking up using the Bone Crusher, and then he'll automatically go into the next part. Hey, what? That must be the floor's hideout. No, not that. The thing. <laughs> So you may think this is going to be a tricky part, it's not going to be so bad. We're going to get the button that we've stuck inside ourselves. We're going to use it to get Glottis' car up, and then just keep driving forward for now until you can stop. Until as far as you can go, until you stop. That's lovely. And then just press the... Uh, make sure to put the control back in yourself first, and then press the A bucket, <laughs> button to exit. So with that now, Glottis is basically safe. Somehow, even though the uh, alligator crocodile, the alladile, or the crocodile actually seems bigger than the car and Glottis, but there we go. So, head down, go down the ladder just a little bit, and then just go back up. You're not going all the way down, because you'll get your ass eaten. And not in a good way, either. That'll be bones for breakfast, Joe. And then, we can get the button out again. Press the A button to use it, and that is going to leave that crocodile or aloe dial right there. And I'm only saying of those two because if I say one, somebody's going to get annoyed and be like, actually, it's a crocodile because of this. Or it's actually an alligator because of that. Sorry, I'm no good. I'm crap with animals. So we're going to head in. Um, the florist is absolutely petrified. He thinks it's Hector when it's not. <laughs> I actually thought he was going to shoot me dead there. But it's whatever you, whatever you decided... You, I think you need to interact with something in the shop. I just interact with the boxes, um, but we actually have to look at the ball of sticky tape at the right-hand corner of the door there. Then you get out your big black legendary thing with the polished silver end, your scythy bobs, and then we we'll just interact with the ball of tape. He's going to get angry, and we're going to have to leave. Get out of here right now! I'll let you have it. I'll... And for this bit. Simply pop your scythe away, head back in, and he doesn't realise that um, he's just happy and gives you what you need now, so job's good. 
He's, I mean, he's definitely, uh... <laughs> There you go. Would you like some? Sure. All right. You have a great day now. So everyone's a winner, I suppose. Everyone's happy. And we are because we have got what we need. So once you're off the car, then we're going to climb up the ladder. We're actually done with this underground area again. Thank God. Does he do it? You can't beat Glottis' enthusiasm. I love Glottis. You cannot beat his childlike enthusiasm. Anyway, head to the right side door, and we are actually now in the casino. So, like I said, we've got around 15 to 16 minutes left of the game. So, we are coming to the end now. So, you can see yourself on the left hand side. Just go ahead, head down the steps. And there's a couple of people playing with the machines. So, talk to the guy with the raincoat. Now, if you watch the cutscene at the beginning when we were underground, this is actually the guy who was sprouted, but actually Sal saved his life by chopping him in half. So, it was only half his body sprouted. LSA while stealing... What exactly are you... I'll stick myself inside, and I'll make the machine regurgitate the... Yeah. Can you crack... So next up then we are going to talk to, who is that? Oh, it's Meche. So it is actually Meche and it is Chanchilla Charlie. Who is this? So we're going to speak to Danny DeVito, oh, yeah. Dildo Head Charlie as well. No drinks for me, thanks. Meche, it's me. Danny? But here, help me get Mr. High Roller here into this... Hey, is that you, young lady? I'll get you. I genuinely love that Charlie cannot get a simple sheet off his head. That is hilarious. But we need to go and talk to the half a skeleton. And it depends where he is. He might actually go ahead and do it straight away. Or he might take a while. As in this case, he took a while. But what he's going to basically going to do is head over to Charlie's machine. And make him think he's a winner. So you don't have to do anything for a minute. Uh, hey! Ah! Help! Back! Oh, fuck. God. I did it! My system worked. I knew it. That's great. Now let's... I'll meet you at the train station. With... There won't be one for me, so you'll have... I'll tell that gate... I'll tell you who the hell Charlie reminds me of. Has anybody seen the comedy show Friday Night Dinner? Mr. Morris, the short, angry-looking guy who screams in the car? Ah! Yeah, yeah, that is exactly what it reminds me of, and that is hilarious to me. Uh, so some people might get that reference, I reckon a lot of people may not. But, you headed into the toilet, we've now got Charlie's suit on, and now to get past this bit, the, the questions are random, but every time this guy's going to ask a question, and it's always the um, biggest number. So, uh, the, the latest number. So, as you can see, you got 1, 10, 3, and 21. The answer is 21. So, you will get a different question, but it'll always be the sort of longest, latest, the, the largest number. So, from on a scale of 1 to 21, 21 being the longest, latest, etc., etc. Hopefully, you get what I mean there. But that's what you get. So, and even if you get a question wrong, he just asks you another question, so you can easily get it anyway. Um, again, there are no achievements, there's only three more story related achievements left in the game by the way, so we're going to talk to Celso now, so Celso's found himself another hot piece of old ass, and literally, 
uh, just answer these questions. So it's actually I work for Hector. And then the real question is, don't you feel that you're worth it? Now I'm not sure if you can just just exhaust all the dialogue options anyway, but this is definitely just the quickest way to get through this. What exactly are you saving your money for? A rainy day? Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. Which, I tell you what, there's a lot of pushy salesmen like that. Especially every time you go in to buy a bloody car. Hmm. I just got back from the worst vacation I ever had. And then Manny will go on to explain absolutely everything, and that will change Celso's mind. Sadly, Celso's ex-wife, again, is still on the orgy boat, but that hot piece of 80-year-old ass is looking mighty sad, actually. She's not looking good, is she? Let us blow our ne Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Excellent. The little lady cha- No, actually it Of course. He's one of my best. <laughs> well, come on in. Ah, still got it. I don't know who you are. And I don't know what spe- But stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something- Am I talking about just a job here? Or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a I mean, come on, man. How- how- how does anyone think that this guy's any trustworthy? Real evil-looking mustache, tall, fat. Just come on. If you don't tell he's a villain, I don't know what will give it away. But- Basically, in that cutscene, I end up skipping it, but we reveal ourselves to be Manny, and he's like, I'm out of here. Gibby. So, what you need to do, where you are on the windowsill, just move up, and we're going to go actually up onto the roof, and then we just need to go to the right side where the big lady um, statue lights are. As you can see, just in the concrete, as you get on to the sort of upper bit there, you can see a little bit of concrete. We're going to use the bone crusher, the little bone crusher at the end. Of the boner crusher, I should say, on this tiny little bit of concrete. Well, is <laughs> don't worry, man. You've always got a third leg. Don't worry about it. And then use the green sprouting powder. Use that on there, and that's actually going to destroy it, which is exactly what we want. Well, it was going to happen eventually. That one must be yours. Don't forget to send that. Time for you to swing, Daddy. Let's see you. These flowers? All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, you make a lot of enemies. No, you really have bad... No, I have a taste for really bad men. There's a difference. Well, who the hell surprised Olivia turned out to be the bad girl? Oh, that was a shock to the system. I told you you can suck it. Bloody Olivia. Anyway, so a few things have happened in the cutscene. You would have been surprised to learn that Sal is in the back, but not all in one piece. But we're going to head up all the way to where Max is. No, it's not Max, is it? It's uh, Hector, sorry. Hector Le Mans. She loves me. She loves me not. Uh, so we're going to skip this cutscene again. Basically well, involves... Right. It, <laughs> it basically involves, as you can see... Yes, we got shot and sprouted, so we quickly need to go into our inventory, get out the freeze spray, and then use it on ourselves. That's going to hurt, but... The orgasm noise at the end also means that Manny is good to go. 
So, Toto Santos, now we're getting our pissed off, yeah? Shut up, Olivia, you smelly douchebag. So, head back down, extra angry, and then have a look in the back seat of the car. And yes, so Sal is looking. <laughs> He's not looking good, Z. Right, and tell Eva that I know sh when I bite this explosive tooth, the d with me as well. Your target? What are you- Hey, get out of there! Farewell, my friend! What were you talking about with the head of the L- Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Viva la revolucion! Aha, uh -huh, take that, you stupid bitch. Well, you shouldn't have been such a jerk-off then, Olivia, should you? So, take a look in the suitcase right here. We are going to get our scythe back, which always comes in handy. And the golden ticket, as you can see, is just hopped along onto Salvador's head, which is always good, because we're going to need it to find the body. So before you head up, make sure to grab the golden ticket from uh, right next to the car, where Salvador's head is. That's very good. Like I said, that will come in handy. So what you need to do now is basically we're going to head back up to where Hector Limanon is. <laughs> Only this time, when you get up to the front door, we're going to sort of head to the right and go around to the back of the building right here and as you can see then so what you need to do is actually get the golden ticket out and it's obviously going to start flapping about the place so you'll know where to look and it's sort of uh sort of in these sort of second sort of more a little bit towards the right um yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. It should be in the same spot every time. <laughs> but what you actually need to do is actually get out the golden ticket. You're not supposed to get out your scythe yet. The golden ticket will show you the way. Then you interact with the spot where the golden ticket is. And Manny will automatically get out his big black thing to slice and dice it, yo. So that is why that wasn't working. So it's around... As you can see, there's like four... Bits of concrete sticking out of the building there. So it's around the sort of second area. So that's what you should do. Slice it open. Sal's body is there. Wow. Oh, pretty. There it is. And that this is where we've got his key. Remember to pick up the key first before you head off. Because obviously if you go back down to the trunk and try to open it with no key... <laughs> Funny that, it doesn't work, which is exactly what I did because I is stupid. So pick up the key from Salvador's body first, then head back down to the car, and then open up the trunk with it. That's all we've got then, is a crap ton of ammo. It's going to come in extreme handy now, because we're not going up. There's a little building, as you can see, just on the left is where we're going. We're not going up to where Hector is now. Uh, we have actually come up to the end of the game now. So just head to the left, to this little sort of outbuilding, this little shit house, And then what you need to do then, with the gun out, interact with these sort of tiny silo or whatever you want to call this thing with this little building right here interact with it man is going to shoot loads into it and that is going huh, looks like little carrots but that'll go up the pipe into the greenhouse therefore destroying hector and completing the game oh enjoy the death beach and then i should just go up to the greenhouse just to confirm that he's gonna die. 
I mean, that sounds painful enough, but you know, you're, n you're never, uh, never too sure. So go ahead, go up to actually complete all the game. Oh, this time I lied about 20 seconds ago, Soz. So, if you played with the entire game with tank controls, this is where you will get the achievement. So hopefully you have got it and it hasn't glitched out on you or you didn't accidentally mess up and change the camera controls at the beginning of the game. So apologies if you did do that. I have left this cutscene in here because, you know, it's feel good. It's a feel good sort of cutscene. But uh, yeah, enjoy! The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. And, uh, demons ride free, right? Aw, oh, man, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assumed I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this is it then. Me, yeah, give me a hug. <laughs> you were the best boss I ever had. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Manny? Yeah? When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. So you might as well enjoy the trip. Well, hey, so Manny got his boner crushing dream. Well, well his boner uncrushed. <laughs> Unless it was with Meche's uh, ass. Anyway, so... Everyone's happy, sad to see Glottis go, but that is that. Now you should get the final two achievements for completing year four and for completing all of the achievements in the game. If you don't get the achievements for completing everything in the game, simply quit out of the main menu and reload back in and it should work for you there. But that is that then, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't, of course, forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I really, really do hope that you've had a good laugh along with me, as we always do, because we are just a crap ton of fun, right? But I hope you've enjoyed the, the guide, the walkthrough, and the game itself, as long as well as my commentary. So don't forget to check me out on all my socials, obviously Twitter, Instagram, Patreon as well. Links and everything are provided in the description below. But again, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. It's been a real treat. You've been absolutely bloody legendary. But I shall see you in the next one. And that's big love, baby.